Yo, what's going on everybody? We are back in the vehicle for another In the Vehicle impromptu video. And uh, today a little tack tip, little prepper pointer, and really it's common sense. However, in these times we live in, you know, today's day and age, it ain't that common. It's funny how people have been saying that phrase for years and years and years, and it only seems to get exponentially and progressively worse uh, with how true the statement actually is. Oh my goodness gracious, every time with this. I need to get a mount, like a phone mount for the vehicle. Um, it's probably illegal to be doing this, but who cares? This is all green screen, go fuck yourself. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the, the little tack tip, the prepper pointer, the common sense, that ain't that common. It's cold this time of the year, at least in a lot of places. Um, a lot of ple people take these things for granted Oh, well, yeah, I got auto start on my vehicle and, you know, it's going to be warm by the time I'm sitting in it and then I'm going into the store and then I'm going home and whatever it is. And those are all warm places. No big deal. Until you get stranded somewhere and the vehicle doesn't work and you freeze your ass off and die, right? Or at least you have a really, really, really bad day, which nobody needs those either. So what you can do, which is a simple thing to do, and I've talked about this several times in the past. Almost every single time it gets cold, I do a little reminder because uh, people need it, apparently. Probably not any of you guys out there watching. But either way, a wool blanket. Not that difficult, people. Wool blanket, okay? You should have fire starters, hot hands, space blankets. You should have those kinds of things, people. You should have portable power banks that uh, you can recharge devices with. If the car is completely dead, the vehicle, you know, we're in and around vehicles a lot in our lives. Uh, at least most of us are. And it's basically your roaming battle station. You have, you know, this little bit of space to, to work with, but you have some extra onboard storage. I have a wool blanket in the truck 24 seven, 365 all day, every day throughout the year. Even when it's 120 degrees outside in the middle of summer, I have a wool blanket in the truck. Because not only can I use it to keep myself warm, I can use it for bandaging purposes, I could use it for shelter building purposes, I could use it as a pillow, I could use it... There's a million and one things I could do with that. And it doesn't take up much space, and what it gives me, God forbid, I actually need it in an emergency, worth its weight in gold. So it's simple stuff. I mean, bring it with you. you. You got the space. You got the space. I, I drive a mid-sized truck, and I have plenty of space in here for all my tactical goodies and survival prepper equipment and just regular old tools for whatever we need to do, right? And uh, it's good to have those things, okay? Especially in bad weather where you can't really just fucking sit outside and wait for help to come. And sitting inside the vehicle is not much better because there ain't no heat or nothing in it either. Worst case scenario. So you need to have some blankets, okay? A big blanket that you could either share or you know double up and use for yourself is preferable. Keep it in the trunk, keep it on the floor in the back seat, keep it on the back seat itself, wherever you gotta put it, have a blanket, okay? And hand warmers and fire starters. Road flares are also a great thing to have because not only can you use them to signal for help in an emergency and make sure that if it's a super snowy, you know, tundra type of day and you're pulled off on the side of the road that you don't get impaled by a Mack truck, um, you know, let, let you know that, hey, we're over here broken down. You could use it as a fire starter. It's a great fire starter. And if you're creative enough, even a self-defense weapon. So, Either way, quick little video, quick little tack tip, quick little reminder. Common sense ain't that common, people. Make sure you got a blanket in your car if it's cold. If you live in California, you got bigger problems to deal with than the weather. Um, but keep keep some hand warmers, keep some fire starters. And this you should have these all the time, no matter what. Um, but keep some blankets, a nice wool blanket. It will still retain heat and, and keep you alive and do what it needs to do most most of the way there, um, even if it's wet, even if you are outside in the snow, the rain, the sleet, whatever it is, a good wool blanket, a real wool blanket, um, itchy, scratchy, sure, not the cheapest thing if properly made, but uh, worth its weight in gold. So don't let them pull the wool over your eyes, but if you need to survive and hide, 
make sure you have a wool blanket. I don't know. Survive and hide and thrive. And I don't know what else I was going to rhyme. I'm a poet, didn't even know it. But yeah, make sure you guys are bundled up, okay? Beans, bullets, band-aids, and bundles of scarves and blankets and mittens and whatever it may be. Dude. Tactical mittens coming to the terribly tactical Etsy shop near you. Probably not, but it would be cool. That's an idea. Million dollar moves. Either way, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Leave it in the comment section below what your wintertime car kit is. And I should do a video on, on the actual stuff that I have in here. That coming soon or at some point. Either way, I appreciate you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. This stuff helps out a ton. Check all the links, especially the first three of those that help you fight for your God-given inalienable constitution, protect, and reaffirm, but inherent by birth gun rights, which are uh, constantly under attack but forever important. And until next time, don't you ever forget.